Welcome back to It's Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got another video today for the passport bros out there and or the people that are thinking about being passport bros. This is um, an episode for you guys, how Filipino women think about Western women and the traditions that they have over there. So if you guys enjoy the content, please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll thank you, everyone, for the 200 subscribers. I'm really happy about that. You guys are freaking awesome. And uh, let's get back to it. It's chow time, guys. Hi, folks. The Filipina Bee here. And today I'm going to interview some local provincial women to get their views on topics like feminism, the roles of husband and wife, what they want out of life, and I'm going to get the reaction to one of those crazy... Uh, so this is very similar to the one with Courtney Ryan that I did where she asked modern women about salary and relationships and things like that. So, but this is obviously Eastern women, so. The Western TikTok videos. I interviewed younger women going to college because if there are changes happening in Filipino culture, they'll be on the front lines of it and they can tell us what they see. And although it seems to baffle many Western females, let's see if they can answer the question, what is a woman? <laughs> Shots fired. Shout out to Filipino P, guys. I'm going to put her uh, link down below so you guys can go check her out and uh, send her some likes and some Hello, uh, subs. Hello, ladies, and welcome. Thank you so much for volunteering to speak to All right, before they even talk, just off the bat, look at these four gorgeous women. You know, one, they're all pretty good looking. And three, just look at how they're sitting, like just how feminine they look. It's it's totally a different class of women almost. Today, please give us your names, your ages, and what are you studying? Let's start with you. Hi, Mabuhay. It's Ara, 21. I'm studying a Bachelor of Secondary Education major in Filipino. Mm. Thank you. And this is Angie. I'm 20 years old, currently studying Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. Thank okay. you. Hi, I'm Candice. I'm 20 and I'm studying Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. All right, thank you so much. They are getting pretty good degrees. Ladies, for the first question, what kind of families do you come from? Ooh, How about you, Candace? that's a good question. I came from a very simple family. It's, um, it's a little traditional. They're still allowing me to go outside, hang out with my friends, mm -hmm. friends at night, but I have it on p.m. curfew okay. at 10 p.m. curfew yeah, still you guys hear that you, ha 20 you still have to get permission. at 10 p.m. curfew oh, okay how That's about you nice. Angie I um I also came from a very traditional family where I am also being what do you call this in English you are being spunk if you spunk. go yes if you don't go if you go out without telling your parents and you will go home late of course that is um very a very bad record for my father oh okay mm. so what does he you guys you guys hear that I don't know if, if all the women that are on my channel, like the two and a half of them, you know, did you hear what she said? That puts a bad light on her father. I don't think women realize that the things they do really reflect on the men in their lives, you know, their fathers, their brothers, and their, you know, significant other. Use. Um, just a traditional paha. What do you paha, call this? A, a belt? belt. Yes. Belt. How about the chinelas? The, oh, the yes, also. And also the one that we are using when we are taking a bath. Ah, uh, okay. The tabo. Uh, yes. The bucket. Oh, okay. So he's spanking you? Yes. Oh. But it's okay. It is for us <laughs> to be spanking you with the bucket. Um, very a bucket uh, handle. responsible daughter. Okay. So it's like corporal punishment. Yes. Okay. Actually, she, she understands. You, well, so. same with Candice and Angie. Um, my parents is very traditional where um, we do uh, things that they are not aware of it. We are and you get spanked yes. as well? <laughs> um, mostly we um, like this and they put some books on our hand. Okay. Then, yes. So and they do that at home? Like uh, you're at, they're asking you to sit on the air? Yes. Because you've been a bad girl? Yes. Mm. All of you guys... Uh, came from the you guys hear these all of these women were punished for doing bad things yes some of their punishments don't seem so bad but they were punished there was repercussions to their actions i don't think a lot of parents nowadays give repercussions to their kids in general so province provincial areas at least in the west okay all right so 
since you come from a very traditional family, would you consider yourselves um, a traditional woman? Ooh. How about you, Ara? Yes, for me, I considered myself as a traditional woman because um, the way I dress, the way I spoke with people, I always say, um, um, being a Filipino, Filipino and Filipina, we always say po and opo to show respect mm -hmm. from up, for others. I understand this. In my language, I'm Cambodian. Uh, ours is bot. Uh, for males, it's bot. And uh, for females, it's cha. So every time someone tells you something and you're like, yes, 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 it's bot. It's bot, bot. And then for, for women, it's supposed to be cha, cha. So I understand this quite easily. Okay. How about you, Candice? I consider myself as a traditional woman. Like in courting, I still want the man to go to our house and and ask permission from my parents okay. if he could be uh, if he is allowed. Dude, that is totally lost in the West. Going to their parents' house and asking to take her out. Oh shit! <laughs> that was like the last thing that happens in the West nowadays. To court me or have me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you still want to be courted, like serenade? It's funny, like, okay, so, so these women have all the standards of being courted. Do you think these women won't get courted? That's the thing I think uh, one of the, I want, like, women to kind of, like, think about. Because they will. Because that's what they're requiring to get in, you know, to get in a relationship with them. Because they require this, and many of them require this, for men over there, they have to meet those requirements. I think that's the, re that's the issue is nowadays in the West... The requirement for a relationship requirement to get someone in the bed or have sex with them is you're good looking. As soon as you're good looking, that's it. Yes, that's yeah. romantic. Okay, like a Frank Sinatra. My way. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Angie? Yeah, yes, of course. I, I also consider myself a very traditional woman because we are all a good listener to our parents. By that, I think it is a good way to mold us. So I don't. I, I'm sorry. I'm stopping so much, guys. But uh, I mean, they said it. Their parents really did a good job of them, and they don't resent their parents for doing, like, for telling them that they did wrong, or you know, kind of like trying to reprimand them for things. That's the big difference between nowadays and the West. I think as soon as anybody tells anybody anything, doesn't matter if it's your parents or not, everybody goes up in arms just like, oh, you're not allowed to tell me that. You're like, I'm, I'm, I'm my own person and blah, 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 blah. So. I know guys that you're still studying. So um, do you want to get married in the future? How about you, Ange? Yes. Yes. I am willing to be married and to be um, a very loving family, just like my family. It is very strict, but it is very loving. Mm -hmm. And I'm very comfortable. And also, I feel like I'm, I am I wanted to feel like a princess, too. Ah, uh, so, so you're still oh. looking for... You're look Ooh, you guys heard that. She still doesn't want to feel like a princess. Let's see what their princess uh, mentality is compared to the West. I hope it's not the same thing. <laughs> to have your prince charming. Yes, <laughs> but not now. Not now. Yes, okay. but I am willing to be married. Of okay. Course. How about you, Ara? Uh, yes, of course. I am willing to be married. Um, actually, I love to cook. Oh. Um, yes, Ooh. that's how my mama see me as a perfect wife. Yes, I am um, also looking for a man to love me unconditionally. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. How about you, Candice? Okay. I, I wanted to be married because um, I want to be loved. I want to be taken taken care of. Okay. Uh, I want a partner in life, mm -hmm. um, someone who I can rely on forever. <laughs> forever. Forever, okay, so guys. Have kids? Forever. Yes, of course. Something we don't hear too yeah. often on our yes. end. How many? Um, three. Three, <laughs> three kids. How about you? It's a good amount of kids. Yes, and four. Four. Ooh, four. Okay. How about you? Five. Okay. Um, four is enough, I think. Four is four enough, is enough. All right, guys. Okay, so I was thinking you guys are looking forward to have, like, a football team. So, ladies, <laughs> if you consider yourselves very traditional and you want to have kids and you want to get married in the future, why are you going to college? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I am going to college because, of course, education is a must in my family. And that is the only power, and that is the only power that no one could take from you. Mm -hmm. And I agree. I agree. Education is pretty important. I mean, formal education, I, I, I have a little different theory about that, but education in general is quite important. The power. 
Yes, <laughs> by, by education, I, by education, of course, we, here in the Philippines, so you are not allowed to apply to any company if you don't go to college. Yeah. And oh, okay. that's it. I think education really is a must for me. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Yeah, but I, I also I also can add that um, there's a saying here in the Philippines that education is like the treasure that no one can steal, yes. right? Oh. So it is very important. How about you, Candice? If you don't go to school, then you won't be able to know everything about what is really happening in this world. And Okay, I'm going to go against her on that one. You don't need to go to school to know everything in the world. The school doesn't really teach you much about the world, tell you the truth. <laughs> even being, uh, even applying for being a cashier, you still, uh, it requires a, a, a college degree. Yeah. What? That's interesting. Over there, even to be a cashier, you need a college degree? Hmm. Yeah, even in 7-Elevens, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. So, basically... Oh, I think because of this it actually brings the education level for all of their citizens up to a higher notch as an average so i think this is actually a good thing for their country overall because our education level is actually pretty low basically ladies what you're saying is that you're not going to college so you can be some boss babe and you mm. know don't need a man so you're just doing it for survival right yes. okay okay and that's something that really bugs me. If a woman gets an education so she can get a job here, some guys will say she's trying to be a strong and independent woman, but if she doesn't have a job and they're just going to marry a man, then they're calling her a gold digger. So either way, we lose. Ooh, yeah, she's right. She's right. Women do have to tiptoe this fine line between gold diggers and boss babes in between, you know? Like, yes, most men don't want really fully uneducated women that don't do anything but we also don't really care too much if they're fully educated so it's it's harsh it's harsh for women out there i know so what most of us do is to prepare to get a job here because it's very hard to survive here guys and we have to do that with because we need to work to survive to support mm -hmm. our families yeah, it's quite different than the women here uh the women here don't support their families they work for themselves and just you know kind of spend on themselves Especially if we're not married right okay so let's talk about the future ladies what role do you expect your husband to play Ooh. Eee. it's funny she even asks this role thing because if you were to ask this to modern women this, 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 the role part is going to get flipped around and, oh, there shouldn't be no roles. There's no gender role. There's no roles in relationships. It's just like, ugh. there's freaking roles, people. Thinking. Well, for me, um, a very supportive husband. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, a loving, caring for my children, our children, rather. And also um, a very family oriented. Family oriented. Yes. So the things they're saying is quite different the than the one Western women. The for me women. is, of course, to stay faithful. Ah, faithfulness. Okay. All right. Matters to her. I may not be the perfect girl or the perfect wife that that someone can get, but I promise that I will be a loving woman. Boom! That right there. She even admits she might not be perfect, so she knows she ain't a ten. Or you know, like where most women in the West, oh, I'm a ten, and uh. Everything that 10 comes with, uh, I'm, I, I got. <laughs> loving, a loving mother to our child. So I am only asking for someone who is faithful and someone who can be with me and someone who can provide for me, for my, for our children also. Okay. Well, I mean, providing is Candace? important for most women, so can't say anything bad about that. I want a man that. who is a good provider, uh, um, a faithful, of course, and someone who could stick around with me and with our children and and teach our sons to be men. Okay. Ooh. So teach we were just our talking about what men. you expect in your future husband. So let's talk about what do you offer in return? Oh, man. I can offer in return my love and companionship. And I can be also your best friend if things are hard in your way. I can uh, also be your shoulder. Yeah, I guess they really th even the women over there don't truly know what uh, men are looking for in a sense. Like from a woman i guess uh, earth the world is so hard but then again i guess because they kind of match those criterias for most men already so i guess they don't have to worry about those things maybe that's the case but we'll see you you can just call me call me you got a friend in me <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
about you, Era? <laughs> well, for me in return, um, if he loves me, I will love him more. Ah. Yes. Ooh, because okay. when Filipino love him more. loves, you know, it's very um solid. Yes, it's a sincere. Filipino term, sincere. Also, I will serve you. Um, I'm very good. You guys heard that? She'll serve you. I don't think any any Western woman has ever said that particular words. At cook, um, in cleaning, I'm a perfect wife. If you, yes, if you love me, then I will love you more. Okay. If a man can give you a house, then you can give him a home yes. in return. Ah, mm. okay. How about you, Candice? I could offer my whole self to him. Whole self. Whole self. Okay. No whole secrets, self, no guys. Okay. Yes, and. In re- loyalty, so you're offering your loyalty, loyalty faithfulness, okay. everything that could make him happy. Okay, well, that's fair enough. So, if you met a guy that wanted to work while you stayed at home and to take care of the kids in the household, would it be okay with you, Candice? I think it's okay, it's very okay. I think um, it's okay for most in, women in our country, with. in our in here in the Philippines. Um, it's very common in in a family that the the husband uh, the, the man works while the the wife stays at home and just um you know take care of their children. It's you know it's very traditional. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. I, I totally agree. How about you, Ange? Would it be okay that you know your husband is working and you're a, a stay at home mother? Yes, um, I love being a stay at home mother because. If uh, if we are newlywed, of course it is okay to both of us to work. Mm-hmm. But if uh, there comes a baby that has um, a picture in our life, mm-hmm. I think it would be better for me to stay at home to take good care of our. Very sensible. Very sensible. She said, "Chill work when we're newly meds, and then once we have kids, is when I'll become stay at home wife." I think most men are perfectly happy with that. Our child, so I can't teach him. I will be the one. I will be the one to teach what is right and wrong, and and the husband can work. How about you, Era? Well, for me, it's not a very big problem. Actually, here in the Philippines, it's very traditional, and I love staying home. And yeah, yes. I'm a homebody too. <laughs> yes, I <laughs> wear. I. You guys hear that? They love staying home. They're homebodies. I don't know very many Western women can say that. <laughs> I can clean because I love um, a perfect house and a very clean house. So that's um, also what I offer to my husband. Nice. Okay. Well, yeah, because we Filipinos, even though we're very poor, yes. we want to make sure that our house is clean because yes. especially when there are visitors, <laughs> that's like something we can be proud of. Yes. Okay. So, 100% what agree. do you think about premarital sex, guys? You know, uh, should a woman wait till she's married before doing the horizontal hula? How about you, Candice? <laughs> <laughs> I think, yes, I'm a, I, a, a, a girl, a woman, should wait until he get, she gets married. But if it's not really, it, if you can't really avoid it, then just be responsible, you know. Mm-hmm. Use contraceptions and everything. They're reasonable. They said, if you can't avoid it, be reasonable. Like, all right. I think most men are pretty okay with that. You know, like, we're not expecting virgins, you know, but one or two bodies, three bodies, yeah, it's probably all right, you know, depending on the age, at least. Thing that could um, prevent pregnancies, uh, unwanted pregnancies. Okay. How about you, Ange? It's okay to wait, Amanda, and it's okay not to. It's mm-hmm. your choice. It's the choice of both of you but just be responsible enough to do the deed of course if you can if you don't have money and <laughs> yeah if, if you, you don't, don't have, have money, money then don't yeah if you don't have money you don't get no honey that's pretty much the saying do it yeah okay how about you era what, what are your me? thoughts on premarital sex yes additionally like be educated enough so that um actually here in the philippines it's very um common like um the young people get married then mostly the parents are the one who will take care of oh yeah so, sometimes yes. they're they're their children very young this is 100 percent uh and thinking of just asian culture in general when you have kids your parents actually help take care of your kids um it's a very common thing so they get 
pregnant and then they're just shipping their kids to their yes. to their parents. Parent. My next question for you guys is when you imagine a Western woman, how is she different from you? I <laughs> grew up in a traditional family. I am not allowed to go date date night that is that was very oh, late. There was they're not even allowed to date and she's I think she's twenty one. So. Example, just like for me, mm -hmm. there was some there was this someone who was courting me before and okay. asking me to go out but my parents actually, but in one condition, I have to bring plus one with me. So, <laughs> ah, okay. So, oh, this is interesting. Uh, in the West, we have this now where women bring their friends with them on dates and things like that. I didn't think it was a thing. And then uh, now that she mentions it, oh, that makes sense uh, for them to go out with someone that's kind of courting them. They have to bring someone with them to kind of help watch over things. Like, it's a little bit better there for them, I think, because at least for here, I think it's just a foodie call for the two friends. So, <laughs> guarantee my safety. Uh, yes. To guarantee your safety, so you that guy who was courting you. See, this is this is this is it. Even like look how parents view things. This is one big thing. Even though it's just a regular male that's courting her, they're still worried about bad things happening to her. I. You guys, you guys get that part? They're still worried about bad things happening to her. I think in society now in the West, you don't care about these things so much anymore. Women just go out willy-nilly and they don't even... I don't know if they think about these things or at least these things that their parents are thinking about. So, Ask your parents' permission to take you out. Yes, but my actually my parents said yes. Yes, but, but with a plus one. With a plus one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Western women, I don't think they would do that. They'd ask permission from their parents. Yes, they wouldn't ask permission for their parents, but they would bring a plus one. I've had heard stories about women bringing a friend and then the male having to pay for both of their dinners, which is ridiculous. So, yes. yeah, that's one big difference. How about you, Candice? What is the difference between you and a Western woman? They're, they are outgoing, they, the way they dress, it's very different from us. Mm -hmm. If we wear like this, like it's totally, our body is totally, not totally, but it's mostly. almost, mostly, almost covered. Mm -hmm. And the Western woman, um, they, I think they really love revealing clothes. Mm -hmm. okay. They do. Oh, yeah. Well, for me, I think the difference between me and Western girls or people, um, Mostly of um, all of my plans is accordingly to my parents. When they say no, then it's a no. It's a no. Yes, it's uh, a no. Oh, damn. So the parents have a huge influence in their life. So if their parents decide no, it's a no. And they're, and they're for perfect. They seem perfectly okay with those no's. I don't, yeah. I don't see Western women being okay with their parents telling them no. <laughs> we can't just. Yes. If they say yes, it's still a no. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so do you guys wear a two-piece bikini? I've never I've never wear two-piece bikini, but if I have the chance to then it's okay, it's still okay. You know, um You're open to the yes, possibility. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's it's the it, it is the way how a woman um shows that she is confident. Mm -hmm. That's really showing um confidence okay but as of now you haven't tried I wearing haven't. okay how about you era well for me i didn't um you I, haven't either no i haven't actually when i go swimming i like put shorts then jacket then, yeah why yeah, is that mm -hmm. why do filipinas wear mm. long sleeves and sometimes pajamas to the beach how about you Ange? do you wear because well, uh, they don't want to get dark bikini i know or that matters you? a lot hi i haven't you yeah. haven't are you going to try in the future? I don't think so. <laughs> no. Why so, is that? Let's, let's recap. None of them has worn a, a two-piece bathing suit. Doesn't seem like anybody, any of them has worn a bathing suit in general. One of them hasn't worn anything at all. One of them wears shorts and sweater. And the other one, it says, no, she would never wear a two-piece bathing suit. So In our family, we are very conservative. Ah, uh, you can you can show a lot of skin. In uh, in my case, we are allowed to use one piece. Ah, oh, one, one piece is fine. But one piece is we have okay. to wear shorts. <laughs> ah, one piece with a pair of shorts. Yes. Okay. Mm, because uh, of course we have in uh, in my family we have different religions. Uh huh. And that is the biggest problem 
I see. So you have to always be prim and proper then. Yes. Mm. All right, ladies, let's talk about a new topic. You know what? In the West, they have this argument about the definition of a woman. Ooh. Can you please define what a woman is? Let's talk about biology. Okay. In biology, <laughs> a woman can be described that is someone who has a um, X and Y chromosomes. Damn that can right. Babies. Mm -hmm. When people in other countries are saying these types of things loud and proud, and we can't even. I'm just going to leave it as that. And do you have an ID? Okay. Okay. Additionally, um, for me, I can define a woman who have boobies and vajayjis. Yes, <laughs> it's um, the female reproductive system. Okay, yeah. someone That's who has the me. boobies and the vajayjis. Yes. <laughs> those that kind of I think nowadays, uh, even men can have boobies and vajayjis. Just those parts, at least. <laughs> the whole reproductive system, no. But the boobies and vajayjis, they can, they, can, they can fill in now. Trap. <laughs> that cannot trap. <laughs> Tools well, you that can, can attract. Just... Okay. Woman is someone who can reproduce, of course, with, an, with, the, with the aid of a man. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. With an aid, of course. We cannot. Each of them stated very solid facts <laughs> that women in the West probably would not state nowadays what a woman is. Just reproduce on our own. All right. So this is going to be, uh, this boggles the mind, guys, because in the West, guys are used to hearing. Women talk about how bad they have it compared to men and how men get all the benefits compared to uh, the women. So my question is, is that the way we Filipinas think? Um, no, actually, we've got uh, we've achieved equality for years now. So I don't. What? Did you guys just hear what she said? They achieved quality for years now. What? I don't really know why. There's someone out there um, talking about inequality between men and women. Oh, I know, right? I don't Damn. know what they're talking about. How about you, Era? <laughs> yes, because mostly here in Philippines, mostly women can get more than men. Where, in fact, in pregnancy, um, like women can get um, maternity leave when he feel bad with their pregnancy. Okay, well. See? We get all the benefits both for men and women and sometimes here in the Philippines we can extra. get extra, extra benefits for women. It's the same thing for women in the West. They just don't see it. Because they have to go to maternity leave. Yes. yes. And you also know. we get the equality a long time ago. I think I I I, I agree. How about you, Ange? Do you think we have achieved equality already? Yes, I agree to the, to this both to these ladies actually. Mm -hmm. We already get the the benefits. We already have the equality here, and it is not actually an is issue. We spread positivity. Women and men get along. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, we get along here. So, <laughs> what about the pay? Do you think yes, we get the same it, it minimum was, wage? Yes, we get the same minimum wage. <laughs> Yes, everybody gets the same minimum wage, ladies. It is illegal to pay you differently, ladies. So stop using those arguments against us. It just doesn't work for men, man. And it was already been passed by the Congress that Correct. everyone have this the the yeah. minimum the, the minimum yes. wage. Yeah, regardless of your gender. your gender. So it is set by the government. So guys. Does Western style feminism have anything to offer Filipinas? None. Absolutely none. We have everything here that we can ask for. Ooh. Come and see it yourself. Yeah. <laughs> How about you? How about you, Hara? No, because we don't need it. How about oh. you, Ken? Um, also, no, because what else could we ask for? We have um, equal rights with, with men and women. The rights of the, the men is also the right of the women. Right. Okay. That's so. Yeah. Damn. What, you, what else could you ask for? You know what, guys? A lot of Filipinas seem to like to dye their hair brown, blonde, or sometimes red. Why do you think they do that, Ara? Well, I think for me, it's like a fashion style, and here in Philippines, men can dye their hair too. Yeah, yes. I think so. So it's not just exclusively yes. for women. How about you, Ange? It is actually a fashion statement. 
Okay. Um, they just go with the trend. Oh, the ones, um, the Korean novellas. Yes, uh, the BTS. Yeah, I guess and so. I mean, they are big in those K dramas as, as well. One time when I was in college, because I love anime. I love Damn regular right. anime. Shout and, out to anime. Know, Sakura, Sakuragi, Sa Sakuragi. No, yes, it's that's slam dunk. It's slam dunk. Yes, yeah, Sakuragi. The red hair. Yeah, the red hair. How about you, Candice? <laughs> Why do you think Filipinos dye their hair? It's actually um, to good uh, to look good. Mm -hmm. uh, a fashion statement, of course, and it doesn't mean anything. Okay, so it has nothing to do with feminism. Do you think? No, nothing. It's not nothing. All right, no. note, note to sales, guys. When you guys see a redhead in Philippines, it doesn't mean the same kind of redhead in the west <laughs> okay are you sure yes. yes okay just checking the reason i ask girls because when some western men see anything like colored hair dancing on tiktok uh, tattoos a tattoo, <laughs> a woman with a job the first thing they do is scream feminist you're a feminist but the thing that they don't, they don't understand about our culture here it's 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 a little different you know with philip I do agree. We do scream that out pretty uh, quickly and loudly at times. Um, just because in the West, it does. You're hitting the nail on the head majority of the time when you do guess that. So that's why I think most men in the West do go with those thoughts. Filipinas, it doesn't mean feminism. Maybe in some cases for other girls in the big cities, but in general, it's. It's I mean, not, she's admitting that even in the right? big cities, there might be some feminists yeah, that are those colors. So, Ladies, this next segment, I'm going to play you a clip and I want to get your reaction to it. Okay, let's start. How much should your engagement ring cost? God so I damn. suggest two things. Number one, you demand a three carat or above ring. God that damn. ranges anywhere from $20,000 to $50,000. And if you can't do that, demand a ring, the equivalent price of his car. That way, if he ghosts you, you can resell that item and get back some of that lost time and start over with a new man. If he cannot afford that, think about how can he be a stable future husband or father let me know in the comments what you think about the engagement ring test all right ladies oh what are your thoughts God. How was that, chow guys? Uh, a little different from before. Uh, you get to hear the, the the Eastern women speak about all the subjects that we actually been talking about lately, and how different it is for them to to answer. So, again, shout out to all the passport bros and all the people thinking about being passport bros. Work on yourselves. Work on your income. Work on your body. You know, go to the gym. Eat right. Take out those sugars, guys. Those, that sugar kills you guys, man. Lack of energy. You get that flab. Just get to the gym. And if you really do want to find some love and, you know, you think these types of women are what you're looking for, then, yeah, get your passports. All right? Again, I hope you guys like the chow. Uh, please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate everything. And, again, shout out to everyone that helped me got the 200 to today. Uh, I'm really happy. And uh, thank you, guys. Uh, it's chow time.